Hey, what is going on guys? I represent Stealth here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the best team comps right now in teamfight tactics. Alright, so to start it off here, arguably the strongest team comp in the game at the moment is ninjas and assassins. So once you do get to six assassins, this team comp becomes insane. If you can manage to get to four ninjas, then the team comp just becomes pretty much a guaranteed win. But not a single one of the six assassins you need costs more than three gold, which means that they're going to be showing up a lot more often. You're going to be able to... The chance of you getting six assassins is actually pretty likely compared to a lot of other team comps that you want to run to where a lot of them you need a four gold or you need a five gold and sometimes you just don't find any of those in the game at all so the fact that you're pretty much guaranteed to get six assassins every time you do run the comp does make it very consistent so for the early stages you're going to want to be looking for your kha'zix your zed and your pike those are all under two cost assassins so they should be showing up quite regularly in the early game you're going to want to try to be buffing up your pike a lot of the time if you can you want to be saving your tier, saving your BF sword, put that on Pike. You want to get two Spirit Sojans if possible on Pike, at least one, and Pike is the champion you do want to be buffing up the most in this team composition. Now in order to get the 6 assassin buff, you need a Kha'Zix, Pike, Zed, and then you need your Evelyn, your Katarina, and your Rengar. So like I said earlier, all these champions are 3 gold or below, so you should be finding it in the mid game. It shouldn't take you too long to get the 6 assassin buff, and then once you get that, having the 350% bonus damage on your crits is just really insane. You're going to start taking over in the mid game there, and then as the game does progress, you just want to be watching out for other ninjas. So if if you see a Kennen, an Akali, a Shen, you want to be picking those up and then if the game does last really late then you can throw in your four ninjas as well and have the ninja assassin and that team comp right now is just very very strong. Another thing to keep an eye out for if you are going for full assassins is to try to look for the Yomu's ghost blade. If you can get a spatula and a BF sword and put the assassin buff on somebody other than Evelyn, then that's going to work out really, really well for you. So if you're buffing up a champion in the early game that's not an assassin and you get him to like two stars or something, then you can put him in as an assassin instead of Evelyn. Evelyn is one of the underperforming assassins. She's like one of the weaker ones right now. So if you can, if you can get that ghost blade on somebody else, then it is also going to help you out quite a bit. All right, so for this next composition here, it's going to be Wild and Shapeshifter, and then later on into the game, you can grab the Dragon buff too, you can also grab the Sorcerer buff, but for the Wild and Shapeshifter, it's also a pretty consistent team composition because all of the champions you need to get the Wild bonus and to get the Shapeshifter bonus are less than three gold, so you're going to be getting those pretty early on into the game. For the early levels, you want to be looking out for your Warwick and your Nidalee, get the two Wild bonus there early on in the game. Next up, you want to be looking out for an Ari and Elise, a Shivana. Once you can get your Shivana, your Elise, and your Nidalee, you get the Shapeshifter bonus there, which can just allow you to have a very, very strong mid game. And then once you get your Nar, this is where the comp really comes online because you want to take out your Elise, put your Nar in. Because Nar is wild and Shapeshifter, it's going to allow you to get the four wild buff and the three Shapeshifter buff, which just turns this composition into a complete monster. And later on into the game, if you see an Aurelian Soul, you can grab him to get the dragon buff. You can also grab one more sorcerer champion to get the three sorcerer with your Aurelian Soul, your Ari, and then one more sorcerer champion. So you get four different bonuses in the late game with this composition, which does make it very strong. And then as for the champions you want to be buffing up with this composition, usually Nidalee is the most consistent one. You want to try to grab a Rage Blade and a Rapid Fire Cannon on Nidalee. Those items are super good for her. As for a second champion you'd be looking to buff up, Aurelian Soul is never a bad option. Getting a Spear of Sojin on him is super good. Nar is really good if you can get some tank items on him. If Nar can just get his transformation, then chances are you're going to win almost every single fight. So if you can have some tank items, allow him to stay alive longer, get that transformation it's super good for nar and then it kind of just depends on like which champion you do have the highest level like for example if you got a level 3 warwick or something then you can throw your items on him buff him up make him really strong so i would say that try to get your items on nidalee but other than that it doesn't really matter too much 
This next composition is going to be a full nobles composition. So this comp here is very strong in the early game. It's pretty good in the mid game. And then in the late game, it's either going to fall off super hard or it's going to continue to scale depending on if you can get the Kale. Kale is pretty much 100% necessary with this team composition here. So if you do reach the late game and you can't find a Kale, then you're probably going to end up losing out. But I found that a lot of the time going for nobles, you're going to at least get like fifth or fourth place it's a pretty consistent team composition the noble buff allows for you to pretty much never die in the early game the noble buff is just so strong in the early game getting the bonus armor and healing on a champion for the first few levels like the hundred armor just makes it super hard for you to lose there so it's just a very consistent comp throughout the early to mid game it's also very nice because you can grab a Vayne, a Garen, and a Fiora who are all one cost and get the Noah buff pretty much right off the bat. So if you see a Vayne, a Garen, and a Fiora on your first roll, then just grab them. You grab the Noah buff. You're guaranteed to have a strong early game with those three champions. So that's one thing I really like about going for Nobles. As you transition into the mid game, you should be looking to try to grab a Lucian, grab a Braum, a Leona. You usually want to go for the Guardian buff here with this composition because you need the Leona for the six noble so you might as well grab the Braum so that you can get the bonus with the guardian there since you only need the Braum and Leona for it and then as you reach the late game you need to just be looking out for that Kale if you can get the Kale then the comp becomes insanely strong having that bonus armor on everybody also having the bonus healing on everybody super strong for the late game there so just always be on the lookout for that Kale if you can get her it's almost a guaranteed win now for who you should buff up with the Noble composition, Vayne's a pretty good one. You can grab a Rage Blade and a Fire Cannon on Vayne. Garen's great with a Morella Nomicon and a Frozen Heart. Lucian's pretty good with a Spirit Sojin. The only champion I would stay away from buffing up, honestly, is Fiora. Fiora, the only reason you go for her with this composition is because you do need her for the Noble bonuses. That's really the only reason you'd grab Fiora here. So stay away from buffing her up, but really you can't go wrong with buffing up any other champion. All right, so this next comp here is gonna consist of four Glacial and four Rangers. So this composition synergizes very well together because the Rangers having the bonus attack speed there, the 65% bonus attack speed once you get four of them, allows you to very consistently proc the stuns from the Glacial bonus. So it just allows you to have pretty much perma stuns out there throughout the whole mid to late game. And if you can have an Ash in there as well, with her ultimate going off, you can get a Spear of Sojin on Ash, then the enemies are just pretty much going to be perma stun throughout the whole fight. Now this composition does take a little bit longer to come online so in the early game you're not really going to be able to get the glacial bonus and the ranger bonus so you just want to be grabbing champions to allow for you to get through the early to mid game so you can just grab things like the garen the darius you want to make sure you're grabbing a vein though grab your rangers grab your, grab your glacials when you do see them but you need to make sure you are grabbing some early game champions so that you just don't lose out because if you're only looking for glacial and only looking for ranger then you're not actually going to be able to get to that so you got to make sure you are grabbing some one point early game champions there so that you can get past and get to your glacial ranger later on in the game the only two champions you really need for the first few rounds with this composition, or the only one you really need is Vayne, because Vayne's gonna be a ranger for you. But then after that, it's nice to have a Mordekaiser. A Mordekaiser will provide you with a phantom bonus later on. Once you do grab the Kindred, you can also just look for a Garen or a Darius in the early levels, but Vayne is really the only one point that you need to grab early on. And then once you do transition into the mid game there, look for your Varus. Varus is a two cost, so he is going to show up pretty early on. Also look for an Ash there, Sejuani, Kindred. Those are going to come a little bit later on into the game. So that's where it is important to make sure you do have a Mordekaiser or a Garen buffed up so that you can get past your early game until you do find those Glacial Ranger champions. Now for your full late game composition, what it should look like is your four rangers are going to be your Vayne, Varus, Ash, and your Kindred. And then for your Glacial champions, it is best to have a Voli and a Sej out there for sure, along with an Ash. And then for your fourth Glacial, it kind of depends on what you have. So if you have a Braum, use him obviously. If you're able to get to an Anivia, then you can throw her out, throw a Lissandra out there if that's all you have. But ideally, you don't want to be using Lissandra. Lissandra is one of the weaker Glacials, but if you you do need her in order to get the four bonus on glacial then obviously do use her 
And then key items for this composition, if you can get a frozen mallet and put that on somebody like the Vayne especially, if you can get a frozen mallet on Vayne along with a Rage Blade and a Fire Cannon, then it's super good because what the Ranger bonus does, it's, it's going to give you 65% bonus attack speed there. It's also going to allow you with the frozen mallet to proc the stuns from Glacial more consistently because with the Glacial, it's only going to proc stuns off of Glacial Champion. So a Vayne isn't going to be able to proc the stun from Glacial. It's only going to be your Glacial Champs there. So if you can make Vayne a Glacial, it just allows you to get so many more stuns off in team fights and it allows you to pretty much perma lock the enemy team. And then for this comp, I wouldn't worry too much about who you're putting your items on. Your items on any of these Glacial Ranger Champions are going to be really strong. I guess the only one I would stay away from would be the Mordekaiser there. I just have the Mordekaiser so you can get the Phantom bonus later on, but your Vayne with the Rage Blade Fire Cannon, your Varus with the Sojin Rage Blade, Ash with the Spear Sojin, you really can't go wrong with any of those items on those champions. And then lastly here to round out the video, another Glacial comp is going to be Glacial paired up with Elemental. List. So this one is similar to Glacial Ranger, very strong in the mid to late game. It is a bit more riskier though, in my opinion, than Glacial Ranger, just because two of the Elementalist champions you need are four and five costs. So Brand is a four cost and Nivea is a five cost. So some games you might get super unlucky and just never see a Nivea, never see a Brand. And if you don't, you're not actually going to be able to get the Elementalist bonus. So it is a bit riskier to go for, but if you do manage to get it, if you can get your Glacials and your Elementalist, Mentalist, then the composition is very strong. And then you do have to realize that if you're going Glacial Elementalist, you're not going to be able to just wait on Glacial Champions and wait on Elementalist Champions, because if you do that, you're just going to get out very early on. So you want to make sure you are going for some cheap one-cost champions in the early game to get you past that point. So a very good strategy to go for if you're going for a late game composition is just grab some nobles for the early game. So just grab Garen, Vayne, and Fiora. Grab the noble buff there. It's going to allow you to get past the early game. Very cheap champions, so you don't need to be spending a lot of gold so that you can save up your gold for your Glacial and your Elementalist Champions. As you reach the mid game, you want to be on the lookout for your Lissandra. Very important to have because she is Glacial and Elementalist. Look out for your Ash there as well. You're going to get the Glacial bonus once you grab your Ash. And then also try to get your Brand and your Cannon. It is going to take a little bit longer, but once you do get your list, your Brand and your Cannon, you are going to get that Elementalist bonus. And then as you make your way towards the late game, be on the lookout for the Volibear, the Sejuani, the Braum, the Anivia. You can also grab a Leona with this composition and get the Guardian bonus there. But if you do grab your Lissandra, Braum, Ash, Volibear, Sejuani, and Anivia, you got your six Glacial. If you have your Brand there, your Lissandra, and your Anivia, you have your Elementalist bonus. So it's just a very, very strong composition there. If you can get to that point, one of the best late game ones in the game. And then as for where you should be looking to put your items with this comp, Ash is a pretty good option. So grabbing a Spear of Sojin, a Rage Blade, a Fire Cannon on Ash is going to be really good here. You can also put your items on Bully Bear, Sejuani. Those are great options as well, but I would more so focus on the Ash here with this composition. So that is going to be all for this video, guys. Those are going to be the strongest compositions right now if you are looking to win and play competitively in Teamfight Tactics. So with Rank coming out in around a week now, this video should give you a pretty good idea of some team compositions you should be looking to play towards. So with that being said, guys, if you did enjoy this video, then be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you have yet to already. So thanks for watching. Have an awesome day, and I will see you in my next video.